I'm Zanders. I'm an instructor in the Chicagoland area. Uh, basically what I want to share with you is that I kind of got involved with Illinois EPA as part of a project. They were getting vehicles in, a technician would call in, he would say, hey, I'm able to communicate with this vehicle. It would then go to the EPA test facility. The test facility would then hook up to the vehicle and would not be able to communicate. The tech would then reevaluate the vehicle again based on an enhanced or generic level and then find out that again he could communicate. He would then communicate again with the test facility and again they would tell him they could not communicate. With all due respect, what it has come down to, at least in our area, is that all of these vehicles, with all due respect to any technician in the Illinois area, the vehicle must talk to the state's equipment in order to pass. If you, if you want to use a meter, you need min-max. But you need a min-max function that's fast enough. If the min-max function is too slow, guess what? I'm no better off. When I refer to can high, which pen on the DLC am I referring to? When I refer to can low, which pen? 14. So to make a long story short, you got your numbers for this first protocol. Living in the electronic world that we have to deal with when it comes to today's technology, you have to excuse me for wanting to find some answers. In many cases, in many cases, we may not be able to find all the answers. But there's nothing wrong with trying. Guys, at this point, I've got to scope those lines. I've got to do my best to try to isolate the fault. Now, again, normally, when I'm looking at isolating the fault, I'm doing what again? Pulling modules. Pulling modules. But again, the one thing I want to share with you, I will always scope those lines. I'm trying to learn something, if there's something to learn. Again. I'm setting this up like we're going to court. The lawyer lays out his defense. The body shop has done module swapping and the codes are evidence. I put the pin number in, 8215. My VIN is rewritten. The new PCM, not the new one, but the used PCM that was replaced now has to correct that.